thank you, Sarita. Uh, the question that we had, uh, I would read it for you, that uh, how can we assess individual versus team performance at the resource-limited setting in a public health context? And we tried to answer this question through these deliberations. So who is doing the assessment? That's the first issue that come up. It depends, likely the manager would be the responsible for the team and would be doing the assessment. We also looked at what are the HR constraints in this particular context. Then understanding the culture of the community and the country when the assessment is undertaken, individual versus the team assessment. In the context of individual assessment, uh, there were discussions surrounding identifying the specific roles and tasks that the individuals are required to do. And uh, this way we can segment them team versus individual. Then uh, we have a lot of discussion across our groups around uh, 360 degree assessments on uh, team and the team outputs. Uh, it's difficult in the source limited settings, obviously, hard to get candid responses, one of the issues that raised. And uh, what is it being used for? Good process, but not some questions, fancy questions like what would you can change that would you live actually. And then this can be a time consuming, <coughs> like, uh, but uh, keep it simple was the suggestion mostly coming out. And maybe too much, if it keeps simple, it may be okay to say uh, simplicity is most important issue, which was highlighted in this particular context, uh, avoid perfection, but the simplicity critical. In the context of the team, uh, provide small incentives to all who are assessing and to talk to those who have received the services, also in the community, because the community stakeholders remains very important and critical part of the whole evaluation assessment process. Organize the assessments around a specific subpopulation. Uh, what are the indicators that start with a pilot, actually, before getting into the complete whole evaluation process? As the assessor, uh, what do you want to know actually? That's an important question that needs to be answered. And uh, what are the constraints that uh, they, that needs to be answered? What can we change in the system to facilitate their work? In this way, you can decide what you can impact and what you cannot impact was also the issue of discussion. Then understanding the culture of the team is critical. Then get uh, different local educational institutions uh, to create and validate the tools. So standardization of the tool was talked about. And tool needs to be flexible and adaptable also because we are talking about the resource limited set. Things. Uh, we had uh, quite a discussion surrounding clinical outcomes uh, where did they accomplish it and hard to see disaggregate from the individual as a part of the team versus individual assessment is there. They need to be brought if, uh, but it is useful that link to be a strategic plan. So overall outcomes needs to be linked up with the strategic plan. Would not exclude, but uh, don't use it exclusively. Then the lessons learned through the process is also important. Uh, there was also issue raised that how do you define the team actually when you talk about an individual versus team assessment? What, what mix of the team? And the simplicity is the cornerstone of the whole process that's been talked about. Then longitudinal assessment where the move individuals to the different teams to assess the individual versus team was also an interesting suggestion which came out. And uh, most inputs uh, from the supply side have been talked about. And uh, at times, we leave away, away apart the demand side. And it's important to understand understand the demand side also to ask industry that they want to use the inputs into the assessment is critical. So these were the thoughts which emerged. And thanks, Patricia, for helping out. That's fantastic. And it sounds like a very rich discussion at each of these tables so far. Table four, which is uh, facilitated by Juanita Bezuntot. I hope I got the pronunciation correct. South African Country Collaborative. And uh, over to you, Juanita. Uh, thank you, Sarita. You will so, be joined soon by Malcolm Cox. Who is. Well, 